In this demonstration, I'm going to show how to uh, use Robot Basic to effectively simulate uh, a, a robotic arm. In this case, it's a 3D robotic arm with uh, three degrees of freedom. There is a Revolute base joint, a uh, Revolute uh, shoulder and elbow joints. This joint is not movable, but the end effector is a, a vacuum that can be turned on and off to manipulate and pick up objects as you will see in this demonstration. The RoboBasic uh, 3D graphics engine is used to create this environment and to draw the simulation. It's a simple graphics engine but uh, very effective and the simplicity is actually a plus because students can learn how to use the engine very quickly uh, without too much complexity. And as you see this arm here, a student trying to do uh, 3D uh, or robotic arm projects will have to contend with obtaining an arm and uh, the expenditure uh, cost-wise and time-wise to learn how to use the arm and to communicate the arm with a, a computer. In this case, we have provided the student with code that simulates an arm. This move arm uh, routine here could be changed to uh, communicate with a real physical arm to uh, do the action that the simulator would do. All the student has to do is provide the parameters for this code just like in, in here where uh, in this code it says what the elbow increment uh, joint angle increment will have to be uh, positive or negative shoulder and base and then move the arm and also whether to turn the vacuum on or off so that it can uh, pick up objects. So when uh, the student then all ha all the student has to do is figure out the reverse kinematics or the forward kinematics to uh, calculate joint angles and what incrementing to do for the joint angle and then call the code that does the work and if this code is a simulator then you will see the simulator move. If it's actually uh, uh, interfacing to a real robotic arm, then a real robotic arm will be moving and the student is able with the simulated environment to uh, save time and expense in creating an environment and uh, obtaining a real robotic arm but the code, the algorithms the student writes are uh, immediately uh, applicable to a real robotic arm if one is available. Of course, writing code for a 3D robotic arm is not a simple task, it's quite complex. So we also provide uh, a 2D robotic arm, in this case also a 3 uh, degrees of freedom robotic arm. It has a shoulder, revolute shoulder and elbow joints, but also the elbow joint is uh, prismatic. It can move in, telescope in and out to uh, create a different configuration. The arm can be moved, uh, the shoulders can, the elbows can, uh, can be moved, the elbow angles, the shoulder angle, and it can telescope in and out. And this is demonstrating here uh, manual control of the arm. Uh, the arm also has an end effector, which can contain a pen uh, that can be put up and down, as you see the pen is uh, indicated here, up, down, you can also change pen colors and pen sizes uh, and, and so on. And, and then draw uh, with the pen either using uh, the manual control or in this case you can also tell it to go to a particular point. So here I've just clicked on the screen to indicate I want it to go to this. And if you notice, I can tell where the mouse is from this, either using Cartesian coordinates or order coordinates. And I can also watch what the 
Cartesian and polar coordinates of the end effector uh, is and also the joint angles as well as the length of the prismatic position of the elbow joint. You can also uh, load discs uh, into the arm so the end effector can also have an electromagnet which can be activated to carry a disc uh, of any color and shape and then you can tell the arm to move to a particular place. Now you can then drop the disc and move somewhere else. The student then can, then, uh, can then experiment with uh, moving these discs uh, manually by telling the arm to go to uh, the position of the disc and pick up the disc and then move it somewhere else and if you notice here since the position was beyond the reach of that particular configuration it telescoped out automatically if I tell it to go here it will telescope in also automatically let's say I want to go here you notice how it telescope now let's say I tell it to go there if I tell it to go beyond its possible reach it will not respond but well, in this case, the telescope out again. Now, the same code you would notice is here as well. So, the student has to contend uh, him or herself with providing again the joint incremental increments, positive or negative, and then call this move arm uh, code to move the simulated arm in this case. But if this code is different, and interfaces with the real arm, it would be again uh, a real arm. And also in this program, we have provided the reverse kinematics uh, algorithms for the student so that the student will be able to command the arm to go to a particular XY position uh, in its possible workspace. And uh, the student then has to be able to write code for instance in, in, in this environment the student could write vision uh, code that would figure out uh, for instance that this disk is in uh, this position and then command instead of I, me clicking on the disk to tell the robot arm to come here the vision code could figure out the uh, coordinates where the robot arm should go and then will command the arm all autonomously without interference from a human being. So the vision code would then tell the robot arm to go here and the robot arm will then go there and activate the electromagnet and pick up the disk and then move it somewhere else. And many other projects can be uh, achieved with ease because all that the student needs to do is write the algorithms that would achieve the, the tasks without having to uh, worry about a real robot arm and how to interface to a real robot arm but if finally when uh, the, all the algorithms are uh, configured then we can just change this uh, here to uh, Instead of interfacing with a simulated co ro robot arm, it will interface with a real robot arm. And uh, this is the power of simulation, and this is what Robot Basic can do uh, very effectively.